have a granddaughter. Tess. She loves to surf. I taught her when she was real young. My daughter, her mother, you see, made some pretty terrible choices in men, so Tess needs something to focus on. Some kids need an outlet. They need to be able to channel that hate somewhere. And, well, the ocean became a place of safety for her. And I, her, uh, her confidant. Uh, her mother married a real gem when Tess was about nine. He took a lot of pride in making her life as miserable as he could. All sorts of ways. Tess got a brother when she was uh, about 11. Me and my wife mainly took care of him, but in all those moments that we couldn't see behind the closed doors. In my eyes, she's really the one that raised the kid for the first few years of his life. He was his or everything. I don't know exactly what it was that my daughter's husband did, but he did something bad enough, awful enough, that at 13, Death decided she needed to run away. She left everything behind. Me, her grandmother, brother. She needed to escape. And it took me years to fully understand that. One day, shortly after my wife died, there was a there was a knock at the door and then, <laughs> there she was. Eight years since the last time I'd seen her. I didn't ask why. She didn't offer to explain. I think it came out of my mouth was, well, we have a whole lot of birthdays to make up for. She's been my best friend ever since. Hell, she's the only way I, I still get to enjoy the ocean. She comes here and visits me every day now. So life's been good, Doc. Lay on me. It spread faster than we thought, Harold. We just couldn't catch it all. Sometimes these things end up striking like lightning. Sometimes they're slow as molasses. We can never really predict what's going to happen. How long do I have? Could be weeks, could be a month. We don't really know. What we need to do is keep an eye on how you feel each day. That will help us monitor I'm everything. not gonna lie to you, Doc. I'm tired. We can make things comfortable. Nice funny, you know. Kinda like the ocean. How's that? Well, for one thing, it's big. Comes in waves. Tide's always changing. It's unpredictable. And like life, sometimes it can, it can just seem so blue and vast and empty. But if you dive down beneath the surface, it's filled with life. Oh, you can only ride that way for so long until you gotta take that drop. You know, you gotta drop in, carve it out. You know what I mean? Where's your granddaughter this morning, Harold? My best guess is she's out uh, riding the tide.
It is Thursday. Oh, well, this is on Friday. Yeah, you have one on Friday, too. Uh, oh, where'd the week go? It came and went. God, how do you get up so early and do sports stuff? Jesus. <laughs> What's your plan today? I'm gonna go see Gramps for a little bit. Mm. How's he doing? He's good. You know. One day at a time, but I think he's gonna beat this thing, you know? That's awesome. So you wanna talk about it? Talk about what? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. Matt. <clears throat> what about him? Tess, we're women. When a man breaks our heart, we sit around and we talk lots of shit about them, which in turn makes us feel better. And it's called the grieving process. Okay, me? <laughs> You're like literally the last person I want relationship advice from. <clears throat> Besides, I I have nothing bad to say about him, you know? It's over, it's done. There's nothing else to talk about. Does now? No. Doctor prescribe them? Of course. <sighs> okay. There we go. Don't be late to your interview. I'm serious. Okay, Mom. I heard there was a grumpy old man in here that won't eat his jello. I eat my damn jello every day. <laughs> I agree. Hey. What you got there? Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers usually signify sympathy, of which I want none. Oh, okay. Well, I'm your granddaughter, which means sympathy is just part of the package. If you don't like it, you could just get better. It's simple as that. All right, I've been practicing at home with Vera. Uh-oh. Check it out. I got Vegas. Oh, wait, I have something for you. Oh, boy. Now we can gamble with something other than pennies? I'm really tired of sounding like a walkie piggy bank every time I come here. Hey, Tess, before you... We need to talk. We are talking. Tess. You know, I never knew there was more than one type of poker, but Tess. there's seven card stud, there's... Look at me. I'm dying. How long? Sooner than later. I know you've been coming here for over a year now, and you bringing me flowers day in and day out, holding out hope that I'm gonna beat this, but I, I, don't, I just don't think it's gonna play out that way. It is okay. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's the way the dice rolled. But it's not fair. No, it's not fair. It's for a grumpy old grandfather to be worried that his beautiful granddaughter, who he loves more than anything in the world, is gonna be okay after he's gone. I can't be the only thing that you're holding on to, Tess. It's been okay for the last couple of years, but... Life has a way of catching up with us. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, not at all. All I'm saying is, I can't let you sit here and watch me die. I need... I need you to go away. Go? Go where? Once you get in your rig, head up north. Why north? Big surf, big country, big roads that need to be traveled. You want me to drive up the 101? Yeah, it's as rugged as your own life. You taught me how to surf all up and down it. I sure did. I taught you how to camp on it, taught fish on it. You know that road like the back of your hand. You 
also know where it leads to. I'm not going there. I know. I know, and I, I, I didn't think this was going to be easy, but sweetie, honey, you've been holding on to so much stuff for so long now, things that are going to stop you from moving forward, and I want you to confront that stuff. A bunch of it buried down deep. You threw away the map. I want you to go out, I want you to find it, I want you to dig it up, and I want you to let it float away. You can't cross oceans. You have courage to lose sight of the shore. That's right. You're 30 years old now. I want you to live your life free and clear. Clean slate. No more guilt. That's right there. I went and said, I'm sorry I said it, but you know, you've been harboring a ton of guilt for too long now. And I, I know you hate to hear me say it, but I, I do not have a lot of time and I'm not gonna hold anything back. You've been holding on to just way too many demons for too long now. No. No 13-year-old kid should have to do that. No kid should have to face that alone. And I'm... I'm just... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so sorry I didn't... I didn't see it back then. It's okay. No, it's not. You just have so much hate. It's your old man, too. The more anger that you, you look toward in the past, the, the less capable you are of being able to love in the present. So I need you to go. For me. And for you. argue with you because I know it'll do no good. No, it won't. Okay. I'll go for you. Thank you. One condition. Here it comes. can teach you how to use it, but I'm gonna need to video chat you from the road. Video what you? Video chat. It's technology, Grimms. Well, I don't like technology and it doesn't like me. Well, it's part of the deal. For you. Okay. You're still gonna be here when I get back. We're not going anywhere. The Lord don't want you, and the devil's too afraid of you. You're stuck with me. Oh, I'll always be with you, sweetheart. Always. Oh. I love you, Dad. Oh, I love you, too. Just remember, all roads lead home. My brother. Brother? I didn't even know you had a brother. Half brother. How's your gramps doing? How'd the interview go? Is that what we're gonna do today? Be combative? <laughs> it went fine, Tess. 
Don't have to constantly worry about me. I'm an adult, I can take care of myself. Can you? You haven't been able to hold down a job for more than a few months. Your free time has been boozing your way down the alphabet by brand name. You can't lift your head off the pillow before noon, and you seem to be way more concerned about me and my life than you and your Please, own. Please, tell me how you really feel. This isn't a joke, V. I never said it was. Just find it rather hypocritical of you. How's that? Coming from the girl who can't talk about her feelings, let alone show any? I've known you for years, Tess, and I'm just now finding out that you have a brother? How do you expect me to be a good friend to you if you just keep me in the dark every single second of every day? I've watched you mope around this house for well over a year, and do you know how many times you've confided in me as to what may be going on inside that head of yours? Zero. Zero times, Tess. Not once have you ever thought that maybe I could help with something. I gotta go away for a while. What? I gotta take a trip. And I don't think I can do it alone, V. What sort of trip are we talking about here? One that involves four wheels. A highway, and the ocean off to our left. Does said trip involve pretty scenery? Yes. And snacks? Yes. What about boys? I'm almost certain of it. <clears throat> Are you gonna make me surf? When do we leave? <laughs> Why did we not stop in Napa Valley? What's in Napa Valley? Wine, luxury, beautiful sunsets, Francis Ford Coppola. Need I continue? I don't know. I guess I just never had any interest in going there. It's because your interest lies solely in what the tide is going to do each day. Mm -hmm. Or trying to find how many species of starfish inhabit Monterey Bay. I actually doubt that you've ever even had wine, let alone know what it's made of. Hey, that's not true. I've had the kind that comes in a box. And it's made from some sort of vegetable. It's made from grapes, which is a fruit. And you've had boxed wine. Yeah, that stuff. It's boxed wine. No one admits to actually having boxed wine. It's like admitting that you like the taste of shit. Literally, it's shit. OK, it wasn't that bad. No, just stop. It wasn't. No, nope, we're done. Purse your lips, bite your tongue. Boxed wine. <laughs> All right, we need to find a place to camp tonight. Excuse me? What? Did you say camp? Uh, yes. That's the exact word that I used. Camping as in tents? It's in tents, sleeping bags, nice cozy fire. It's perfect, right? Bears, bug bites, Bigfoot, wolves. You never said anything about camping, Tess. Whoa, why are you freaking out? Because I do not camp. I sleep in things with a solid four walls and linens and electricity and I don't do tents. Okay, well you are on this trip. I am not. What are you gonna do? Get a hotel every night with the job that you have? I do not find that humorous in the least bit. I have to pee. All right, I'll find a place to pull over up here. Pull over? Pull over where? To the next dirt road that I see. Tess? Why are you under the impression that I am some sort of barbaric Viking? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I never asked you to invade Native American soil. No, just pee all over it. Pee all over the Native Americans. You know, that's racist, Tess. You're a racist. This is gonna be a long trip. 
I really have to pee, though. So are there, like, bears here? Not at this time of year. Oh, so there's bears at other times of the year. I mean, we're in the woods, so. All right. I don't know, like, where are we? You brought a tent? 200. Yeah, I got a tent. I got sleeping bags. I got it all. Did you buy it? We didn't have that. I wouldn't let that be in my house. I had it in the store. Ah. I do. Ugh. All right, bathrooms down there. If I'm not back in five minutes, send search and rescue. Would you like a flare gun? Pew, pew! Vera? Vera! <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Bathroom. Bedtime. <laughs> There's a reason why things get pushed way down, why I don't like things to surface. It just always seemed easier to put them in a closet and forget, out of sight, out of mind. I think most people can relate to that. Or maybe they can't. Maybe people need to take things head on. Either way, I suppose we can't run from things forever. Eventually they catch up with you because you become so tired from towing the line for so long. Dragging a bag of bones that gets heavier and heavier as time goes on. There are times when no one could understand. When writing in this book seemed the only sane thing to do. But then you realize you're doing nothing but talking to yourself. And then things aren't so sane anymore. And it would be easy to turn to everything. Anything to numb that pain that eats away at the pit of your stomach. That's why this is, and forever shall be, The Vault. A collection of thoughts that are meant for my eyes only. Locked away by conviction and humility. Bound by guilt and anger. Those things that somehow I'm supposed to let go of. In time. In time. P.S. No serving today. I need waves. couldn't stop in Napa Valley, but we could come see a big freaking Paul Bunyan statue. Paul Bunyan's a classic. Yeah. <clears throat> you want any snacks? No, I'm fine. Okay. Are you going north, though? Because I need to go north to the prehistoric forest. 
where all the dinosaurs are. I swear, I'll, I'll be really quiet in the car, and I won't, I'll, I won't do, I won't do anything mean. Please, I need to go to the prehistoric forest. Hi. Oh, a girl is talking to me. Where are you headed? Um, I'm, I'm headed north to the prehistoric forest where all the dinosaurs are. What's your name? I'm Noah. Oh, like Noah's Ark? Yeah, exactly like Noah's Ark. Like, did you know he had dinosaurs on his ark? Did you know that? I think I did. Uh-huh. <gasps> I'm Tess. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, another girl. What's going on here? Uh, Noah, this is V. V. This is Noah. Well, you're named after a letter? That's <laughs> so cool. It's short for Vera. Wait, you have two names? That's even cooler. Okay, can we go now? It was nice meeting you. Yeah, okay, um, bye. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Anyone going north? Hey, so since we're here, I kind of just want to see them. See what? Trees. I mean, we're here, right? Trees. You want to see trees? I'm pretty sure we could have done that at home, Tess. Yeah, but they're like big trees. Big trees. Nature. Great. Ugh. Just kill me. Can you wait? No, it's really not funny. This is like extreme on another level. Come on. You know, I get the surfing stuff, but all this hiking just really feels like a waste of time. <sighs> Come on. Woo! Okay, Tess, can you just hold on? Hurry up! Oh, oh, wait, we're in such a rush. Okay, can you just wait? You know what John Weir said? Between every two trees is the door to a new life. <laughs> Let's go! Great. Let's go! Way too much nature for me. <sighs> okay, I admit it. It's pretty. These are the moments, V. What moments? The moments we have to enjoy. Simple thing. Uh, all right, can we just wait a second? Gramps taking me someplace like this when I was a kid. They're way bigger though. What, <laughs> this isn't big to you? <laughs> I remember running fast. Because I wanted to get there before anyone else did. <laughs> I tripped and fell. And then Gramps picked me up and he dusted me off and he said, it's not about how fast we get there, but rather the fact that we came and saw. I don't know how you remember that stuff. I can barely remember my mom and dad's birthday. <laughs> I never actually knew what he meant at the time.
Almost there? Yeah. <clears throat> You've been saying that for like ever. Oh my god, a road! Thank you. Oh. Alright, where are we eating? I'm just getting really <laughs> hungry. <laughs> what was that? What was what? There's something out here with us. You mean someone? It, whatever. No. Tess. See? Hey. Hey, come on out. Now. No. Tess, no. No. Tess! I don't play well with others. This is like the coolest car ever! I really, really, really like this car because of its like really comfy seats and it has really high ceilings and, and the colors are really pretty everywhere. We get it, you like the car. Do you guys like dinosaurs? Because me, I love dinosaurs. Gee, we couldn't tell by that Halloween costume you're wearing. Ow, what? So where are you headed, Noah? Me, ah, uh, where are you headed, Noah? Jurassic Park? What, D does that exist? Good God. No, he does. He definitely exists. No, really, where are you headed? I am headed to the prehistoric forest where all the dinosaurs are. <laughs> this is really happening right now. This is a real thing. What's the prehistoric forest? You've never been to the prehistoric forest? Wait, it's so pretty, you gotta go. It's, it has really, really old plants and really, really pretty trees. And all the trees have these really long arms on them. And on the arms, on the arms, there's a lot of moss everywhere. <laughs> this place is pretty special to you, huh? Yeah, it's really, it's really special to me. And why is that exactly? Well, because there's like- Dinosaurs there, of course. We get it, Jesus. Mm -hmm, yep, there's, there's, there's this triceratops and there's the pteranodon and there's, um, there's a big old brachiosaurus and there's a there's a Lystrosaurus too and it's so cool you're gonna love it. I blame you for this. He's adorable. You, they're so big you don't even know you're so tiny and they're just so big. I need a drink. Mm, I got a drink too and I would like a root beer float. I'm hungry can we get some food? Maybe it's like some chicken fingers or, or oh let's get some french fries. Right, here come we come. On. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Do you think they'll have tables for us? <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you know, do you meet Charlie? This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Charlie goes everywhere with me. He's my best friend. Arr. And a big fit, big steps, one by one, and eats a fry whole. Oh. Mm, <laughs> mm, yummy. He loves it. Um, are you and Miss V like best friends? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'd say she is. Like, like you tell each other everything, like, you know, like all the secrets and all the fun stuff. Um, not all the time, but mm. some. What, only some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just some. Well, that's that's not good because I I think friends should tell each other everything, you know? Because that's why they're the bestest. You're welcome. I used to tell my mom and dad everything. Where are your mom and dad, Noah? Uh, they're they're at the place with all the dinosaurs and and the trees. Oh. Okay, so you'll get to see them then. Mm-hmm. So where are you and Miss V going? Yeah. 
we are going to see my brother. What? Wait, you have a brother? I do. But like, like a real brother? Hmm, yep. Wait, like me, like me. <laughs> yeah, a real boy, just like you. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. I know you are, silly. Charlie, Charlie wants to meet, Charlie wants to meet your brother. And then we can all be best friends. Oh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, that would be so great. Do you out? <laughs> Why is Miss V so mean? Hmm. You know, I think you should ask her that. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Why? Why not? Well, I don't know, because then, you know, that would be mean of me, and, and I don't want to be mean. You know, you got to be nice to all your friends and all your, all, your, all your aunts and uncles and your grandma and your grandpas and your doctors and, you gotta, and your teachers. You got to be friends. Mm. I agree. I agree, too. Turkey get his fries? He did. I think he went through that place's entire stock of potato. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Idaho's close. You doing okay, V? I'm fine. How are you, though? You need to surf. Well, there is an entire ocean here for you. <laughs> Map said there's a good place above the harbor to camp. Wonderful. I'm sure our five-star accommodations will be absolutely fantastic. Noah wanted to know why you're so mean. Not mean. I don't think you mean to be. I'll sleep in the car. I'm gonna try to catch some waves. I'll be back in a bit. You guys will be okay? We'll be fine. Right, Rex? Hey, that's a dinosaur! We'll be fine. How's it going? Good, good, going good. I uh, thought you left. I came out and wanted to catch the view. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it was kind of fun out there. Yeah, the few waves I caught. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Ono, by the way. I'm Tess. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Well, <laughs> <laughs> cool. sick board. Thank you, yeah. Well, I'm headed up. Are you, up to, are you up here? Yeah, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm going up the trail too. Mind if I... Yeah, yeah sure, you? let's do it. You need some help? Um, nah, I think I'm all right. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, though. Yeah, no problem. Check it out. Whoa. Might be able to catch the uh, green flash here in a second. You ever seen that before? I don't think so. 
What are those islands called? I don't know. Shark fins? <laughs> That's a big ass shark, though. No, thank you. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I've seen more than a few in my time. <laughs> so, uh, you from around here? No, just visiting. Small world. Where is uh, said trip taking you? Mm. Astoria. Oh, that's a pretty place. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up right around there. So you at least know your coastline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. I had a... I have a grandfather who used to drive me up the 101 all the time when I was a kid. Taught me how to ride one of these. <laughs> Taught me how to fish and crab, camp. All those things girls just love to do. <laughs> yes, but all things that are essential to survival, actually. Well-driven point, sir. <laughs> My father's a sir. I'm, uh, I'm anything but. <laughs> so what about you? You from around here? Not really. I feel like there's a story behind that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not much of one. I, uh, I like to keep an open schedule. Open schedule? Yeah, you know. Abide the storm gods, listen to Poseidon, if you will. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so you follow the swell. That I do, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you cannot call me ma'am, especially if I cannot call you sir. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Deal. Deal. Okay. <laughs> ma'am. God. Sir. Excuse me. <laughs> Look, Miss V, they're on fire! Oh, it's so pretty! Can you, you're just, you're gonna burn down the whole damn forest. That's the second bag you've gone through. Hey, wait, where's all the chocolate? You ate it. All. No, I didn't. That was Charlie. Charlie <laughs> ate it all. Are they with you? Yeah, they most definitely are. Oh, no. Uh, well, listen, yeah. uh, Tess from Astoria, it was very nice to meet you. Oh, I'm just originally from Astoria, but I actually, I live in Santa Cruz. Cool. Oh, wherever in the world you hail from, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Tess. <clears throat> what are you guys doing over here? Oh. Told you. Small world. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Did you go off and get a boyfriend? Uh, yeah, I think she went off and got a boyfriend. I think she did. I think she did too. I did not. Stop it. Oh, Tessie. Shut has got I'm a boyfriend. Oh, right. oh, did you get <laughs> Tessie's gonna kiss, kiss someone? Shh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hey! Hi! Oh, oh, oh. Look at that! Hey! There you are! <laughs> it works! I'm good, I'm good now, you can go. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> can you believe that? They gave me a male nurse? A male nurse? It's like being on death row and getting a spinach salad for your last meal. <laughs> oh, oh, look at it. Wow. How you doing? We're good. Huh? What? Oh, you got company, huh? Yeah, I brought Vera. Oh, that's good. That's real good. I, 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 I'm happy to know that you got somebody along with you. Where where are you now? Southern Oregon. Got in last night. Oh, well, that's a beautiful coastline, right? Rugged. I miss you. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right as rain. Tough as nails. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, I just check in on you. See, I, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking a bath with you. That's for sure, Bob. Get me Gloria. <laughs> oh. oh, I love you, kid. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, 
Hi. Oh my gosh, thank you. That is so You're nice. Welcome. Oh, sit down. Alex. Oh. It's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what are your plans for today? Uh, I think we're gonna continue heading up north. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I was actually thinking of headed up that direction myself. Oh. Cool. We could caravan. That's cool. <laughs> okay, that is what you were getting at. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if it's cool with the uh, dynamic duel back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, let me ask him. Okay. Okay. Awesome. He snores, Tess. Dinosaur boy snores. So I didn't sleep at all, because, you know, camping. Yeah, and I slept great. And Charlie and I were talking in the tent, and we want pancakes. Are you sure you want to come with us? You guys know each other a while? Long time. Why is she out here? I think that's a question only she can answer. And you? You just along for the ride. Right. I don't know, I think everybody needs someone they can lean on. I've always been able to lean on Tess. Never cracked, never folded. She's strong. But even the strongest bridges collapse. And when that happens, she's gonna need me. Just hope I can be of some sort of use. Well, we can't help others unless we help ourselves first. If you hurt her, I'll kill you. What? Seriously, I will bury you where no one will find you. Got it. Like, bottom of the ocean, weights on the angles. Soprano style type shit. Understood. Good. Burgers, Chess! Come on, Tess! Tess, come on! <laughs> Tess, do you see that blue one? I see it! Isn't it cool? Charlie, do you see how tall that is? It's like your neck. Miss me, hurry! <laughs> when does he go bye-bye? Soon, I think. I think his parents live pretty close. Oh, thank God. What is your problem with him, B? I don't know. He's annoying. Well, I think you need to be a little bit more sensitive. I mean, look at him. Look at that one, it's blue! <laughs> He's living in the moment, every second of every day. Don't you envy that? I never really thought about it. Maybe you should. Which one do you like? That one? Oh, me too. Okay, okay. You guys ready for this? What? Ah, uh, look at that, that's super cool. Okay, you guys. Sentimental time. Pictures! Uh -huh. food all over my face. Oh, all we right, should make ready? funny faces. Can we make funny faces? All right, ready? Charlie. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, Charlie, did you like that? I love it. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What did you do? I'm sorry, Miss V. It, it was an accident. Oh, you stupid retard. God, why are you even here? Where is your family? You should just go home.
And I'm like, oh my God. It's okay, water. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. dinosaur is I don't, I don't think I have one what you have to have one everyone has a favorite really everyone yeah has a favorite yeah absolutely yes well well what's your favorite uh you know it's a tough one but I think I have to say Stegosaurus. Oh, that's a good one. Right? Mm-hmm. That's the that's the one with, with all the plates on its back and, and the and the spikes on its tail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that one too. So what is it? What's your favorite? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, a big old brontosaurus! <gasps> That's such a good one. Mm-hmm. It is. It's my favorite one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember the dinosaurs. I remember. I remember the pteranodon and and the triceratops and and the brachiosaurus and oh, and the dimetrodon and uh, the tyrannosaurus. We're here! We're here! We're here, Tess! We're really here! Come on! Oh my god, do you guys see that? That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! It's a real Tyrannosaurus Rex! I told you guys! Oh my gosh! Tess, Tess, look! Oh my gosh! Tess, look! Look, look! Tess, come on! Come on, hurry, Tess! Hurry! Tess! Tess, look! Mr. Tyrannosaurus Rex, do you remember me? It's Noah and Charlie. I forgot how big you are. You're so big. I grew up, do you see how big I am? Jess, come look. Come on, you guys, hurry. Come on. Oh my gosh. Jess, look. Jess, hurry. Look, 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 there's a pteranodon. Do you guys see the pteranodon? They, they, did you know they, they have, they have no teeth. They're toothless like, like my grandma. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's your favorite test. It's the second story. Do you see it? Oh no, did you know this is Tess's favorite dinosaur? Oh look, it's a Dimetrodon. This one has so many teeth, like double layers, just like a shark. And at one time, it was it was the biggest meat eater on land of its time. Did you know that? Oh, this is a Triceratops. It has three three horns, and 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 its its head is 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 just almost as big as its body. It's like one third the size of his body. But yeah, it's really big head. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the, this is the Ankyliosaurus. This one wears armor, like, like he's going to war, and, um, and he uses his tail to hit the other predators, and, and so he's not scared of them. Oh, this is the bird one. It's a diatrima, and, um, it's kind of like a seagull. Do you guys remember we saw so many seagulls at the beach? Oh, look at, look at all this Douglas fur. Are you happy to be back, Charlie? Huh, are you happy to be back? I would sleep here if they would let me. I, I would live here. <sighs> Guys, hurry, come on. <gasps> look, look, it's my favorite. It's the Brachiosaurus. Yeah. Miss B, do you see it? Miss B, do you see it? Hey, be careful, Noah. No, I'll be careful. Hey, do you remember me? <gasps> I remember you. Charlie, do you remember? <gasps> Guys, look, it's so big. I forgot how big you were. <gasps> You're 
you're so big. Charlie, Charlie, do you remember your mommy? <sighs> Do you remember my mom and dad, Charlie? and dad were fighting. And dad was tired because he didn't want to drive anymore. And then I heard a boom. And I bumped my head. And, and then we made a splash and mom stopped screaming. Mom and dad weren't moving. I couldn't breathe because of all of the water. I don't like water. And I don't like water. I don't like water. Sometimes, sometimes you have to say bye-bye to the people you love. So you have to be happy when you're with them. Charlie, you're gonna stay here, okay? You're gonna stay with mom and dad. Bye, Charlie. Bye, mom and dad. Please do something other than a campsite tonight. Please. Yeah. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Just need a bed. That was such a good idea. <laughs> oh. You okay, V? I'm just really tired and thirsty. All right. I'll let you sleep then.
Hey, hi. What are you doing? Uh, um, can we go for a walk? Like, like take you somewhere? Uh, where's Noah? He is upstairs. He is watching reruns of Judge Judy, and it is not my fault if he finds any adult channels. <laughs> uh, well, we need some rest, so might be a good idea to give her some space anyway. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Where are we going? That's a surprise. Oh, I hate surprises. <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to get over that. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Come on, let's go. What's it all about, Jess? What does it all mean? I'm not picking up what you're throwing down, Kathy. <laughs> this trip, you know, I mean, what is, what is it at? I told you before, Astoria. <laughs> no, I mean, Astoria is your destination, but what is it end for you? You know, what are you searching for out here? I didn't really know when I left. My grandfather wanted me to come out here. Wanted me to figure some things out in my life. Hmm. So why isn't he here with you? He's dying. Yeah, this was kind of one of the last things he wanted. So you go on a road trip? No. I have a brother out here, and kind of haven't seen him in a while. How long? 18 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I thought not seeing my family every Christmas was a problem. So why haven't you seen him? I ran away when I was a kid. And kind of just haven't had the courage to face him after that. Then I wasn't really allowed to see him. That was kind of the only leverage my mom and stepdad had over me. They knew how much it would hurt me. Jesus, why am I telling you this? So you've been blaming yourself, right? Thinking that maybe you should have just stuck out whatever terrible things were happening to make you run away? I think that maybe at least you could have protected him from anything happening to him? Yeah. It's a hell of a thing to carry, Tess. It's a hell of an observation to make. How old was he when you left? Three. I don't even know if he'd recognize me anymore. I don't know what he's been told. So that's your biggest fear then? One of them. The other's losing your grandfather. You're really inside my head right I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean any harm in it. I just, uh, just want to try to understand you is all. What about you? Hmm? What about the almighty oh no? <laughs> what are you doing out here? Ah, uh, I'm just surfing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Life is about learning from people to better yourself, to be the best that you can be. Mm -hmm. 
I like the road. I like the people. I love the stories I get to hear. You know, like, you take Noah back there, you know? I mean, tragic, yes, but look at his outlook, you know? And he could have gone a million different ways with what happened. It's just, you gotta find the balance to it all. It's like walking a tightrope. One foot in front of the other, mm -hmm. or behind. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I've never seen this one before. I've stopped by here a few times. I've seen a lot of lighthouses, but nothing quite like this one. Why did you bring me here? Things like this were meant to stand on their own, built to weather all storms. But as time passes, they need help. More cracks here and there, leading to one side. It's not because of weakness, though. You just carry the stress for too long. Now, it's apparent that they need help, but they can't ask for it. You know what? It's always there. Thanks for the walk. Don't mention it. You have quite the outlook on life. You kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I wish I could be things that way. Well, you can. <laughs> All you got to do is just let go, you know? <laughs> Which is the hardest part. So, listen, uh, Tess. It's, it's not your fault. Okay, you can't keep carrying that with you. friend. Hey, the friend is here. here. Hi, Tess. Come on, baby. We're just trying to have a good time. Get out! You're kidding me, right? You have to be kidding me, V. You have to be kidding me right now. Is this what you want? You want to feel numb all the time? Is that what you want? You want to feel like a dead person? You want to feel dead, me? Is that what you want? You want to feel like a dead person? What are you doing? Is this what you want? That's what I'm asking. Out of God! No, what is it? What is it? You want attention? Is that the attention that you want? No. What do you want then? What is it that makes you feel like you can throw your life away? You tell me right now. Talking makes everything magically better. You think that makes the problem go away? Newsflash, it doesn't. In fact, most of the time, talking does nothing. And so what, running away is better? Don't act like you know me. 
Stop acting like I'm in a fairy tale, like I'm some princess. I never said you were, Tess. No? You want to compare my life to a lighthouse? What kind of bullshit is that? Don't act like you know me. Yeah, I have some guilt. And you know what? That's fine, because I should. Tess. Tess! No, I don't want your pity. I don't want your sympathy, but I'm sure Vera can do some though. become so hurt by others? Why do we care how others feel? Life would be so much more simple if we just reacted instead of creating a thought process. Wounds begin to fester, seep. Eventually they burst and all the bad stuff no one wants to talk about comes out. And why is it so hard to talk about those things? Those things that are so terrible. Why do we have to keep doors locked and attics shut? What's really wrong with letting people in? Judgment? Envy? Jealousy? Pity? All things we fear. Fear. A word I love. I'm fine. Oh, you can't lie to me. It's nothing, I just... Tess, come on. This is just really hard, you know? Um, you're not here, and... Things pop up, and I don't know how to deal with them. Vera, Vera has problems. I don't know. I just don't really know what to do right now. <laughs> Be there. Be there. Whatever's going on. Be a beacon. What'd you say? Uh, like a lighthouse. Be a beacon for others who are facing the storm. You were always good at that. Even as a little girl. I love you, honey. I really miss you. I think I hear the sea. Can you show me? Can you, can you just turn it around and let me see? It?
I need your help. Buddy, I'm getting all the words here. No, I'm I'm drawing Miss Dia picture. Oh yeah? See? Oh, mm. that's cool. She's gonna love that. Yeah, she's gonna really like it. <laughs> Cause it's a bunch of dinosaurs. Yeah. Mm. Do you think Miss B's gonna be okay? Yeah, buddy, she'll be fine. There's just too much sad right now. No, we need smiles. Miss V and Tess, they need smiles. You know, buddy, I do need smiles. Are you feeling better? Better. A little better or a lot better? A lot better. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, V. It's okay. You're a good friend, Tess. Best. Mm. 
You're my best. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but where is Noah? Because <laughs> I kind of miss his voice. <laughs> Should we go check? Yeah. Noah? Someone wants to say hi to you. Yes. Noah? Oh no! Noah! No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. So, the story is only about 50 miles up the road. I know. <laughs> Last stop on the train of SAR. Oh, I don't know about that. You like it? Yes. Here, take this. <laughs> so, I was thinking that maybe I'd keep Noah with me. You and Fear can make this last stop by yourself. I mean, you know, we'll just hang out down here and we can reconnect when you guys come back through. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We can meet back up. Cool. See some mine houses. <laughs> Catch some waves. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. Cool. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Take care of him. <laughs> Got you, B. <laughs> I love you, Tess. I love you. I'll see you in a couple days, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna see you in a couple days, okay? Okay. okay. Just a few more days. Mm -hmm. Just a couple days. Bye, <laughs> Miss I love you. I don't have a girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend.
I used to stop here every day after the pastor dropped me off. I never wanted to go home. Why, Tess? Because my mom invited a monster to come live with us. I used to walk past each and every house. This angler lived right here. My friend Ben lived right there. The couples lived in that greenhouse. I used to walk down the street and hope that someone would just come out and take me away. That someone would find out what was going on and take me in. When I was just a little girl, I was naive. My stepdad made me get a paper route when I was 10. And I'd have to wake up every morning at five, do the paper route, make it back to the house to catch the school bus to make it there on time. Just trying to save up to buy my first surfboard. And I'd go at the end of each month and collect the payments. I should have had enough money to buy my first board after about six months. Then he'd come and collect most of the money and say that the family needed it. When Grams found out, he had me help out in his garden to make me feel like I was earning the money back and then he just took me to buy my first surfboard. But I kept on delivering the paper every day. Eventually, he started waking up at the same time as me and coming on the routes with me. On the morning of my 12th birthday, we delivered the papers and came home. I'd finished early, so I wanted to get some sleep before school started. Went into my room. I laid down and closed my eyes. I heard my door open. That's when it all started. I hate this fucking house. I need to go do something. I've never wanted to share my past with anyone. I've always feared judgment, ridicule, pity. So when I was younger, I just started, started writing it all down. Every, every bad memory, every, every bad experience, everything that he did to me. I wrote it all down in this book. Everything that he did to me is in this book.
in my eyes are the only ones that I'll ever see it. I ran away, V. And I left my brother behind. With a monster. I've had nightmare upon nightmare about what might have happened to him or what, what might have been done to him. I escaped. And he didn't. What if he hates me for that? Even if he does, you're here and that's all that matters. I don't want these memories anymore. I need to just get away. You ready? As ready as I'm ever gonna be.